Hi, my name is Jill Knapp and I'm an Adoption and Change Management Practitioner at Amtra Solutions. And today I'm going to be talking to you about conditional formatting and the Outlook calendar. Did you know that there is a really easy way of applying different categories in Outlook? And you can do that via conditional formatting, so let's take a look. So here's my calendar and um, notice that there's different items in the subject line that ha have some things in common. So project 3355 is one and then I'm noticing that I have some remote meetings and some on-site meetings. So what I need to do is I need to go to view and I need to go to view settings and conditional formatting. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to add a category for project 3355 and I'm going to add a color and so I'm going to make that purple and then I just add my condition so anytime that I see project 355 in the subject line that category will be applied So notice that the existing ones apply, and then I can add another project 3355. And it'll automatically be applied. So you can use this also for remote meetings and on-site meetings. I find this very helpful so then I know if I need to go somewhere or if I'm staying in my office. So we're going to do this one more time. We're going to go to view settings and we're going to go to conditional formatting and we're going to add remote. Oh, we are going to make that gray and we're going to apply the condition and I'm going to type the word remote. Use OK. And all of my remote meetings are applied. So that's it. That's all you need to do. Conditional formatting is really simple and it can be very effective in you creating your meetings and knowing what's going on from day to day. Now go on and do some amazing things. Thanks for watching.